Welcome to this fine, rainy morning. I popped open the window, came down, made a coffee, and I'm just doing some reading. I just finished a chapter of Anne of Green Gables. Now I'm moving into um, Anatomy of the Spirit. And then I'm gonna go about my day today. I have a lot of computer work to do. So today is an editing and uploading day, which worked out really well because it's supposed to rain like this all day, which is giving me such cozy vibes. Like I'm so ready to just light candles all over the house. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I feel like it's gonna be a nice cozy day. So today I'm learning about the second chakra, like I just said, in Anatomy of the Spirit and how our second chakra is so directly tied to our personal means of power. It's kind of blowing my mind a little bit. I'll just read you out a couple things I've highlighted. It says, power is a manifestation of the life force. Illness, for example, is a natural companion of powerless people. Everything in our lives is, in fact, involved in our relationship to the energy called power. It talks about how power of the second chakra expresses this energy in physical forms as opposed to the power of our first chakra, which is more about like uniting with people that you form like a bond with or a team with or like, you know, your country, your nation, your town, your family, things like that. This is more so about the power of things like materialism, authority, control, ownership, sexual magnetism, sensuality, eroticism, eroticism? Yeah. and addiction. Uh, for us, the challenge is not to become powerful celibate so not to just like completely not interact with those means of power but to achieve sufficient internal strength to interact comfortably with physical power without negotiating away our spirits so if like you think about things like materialism authority control ownership sex sensuality like anything that really indulges the senses it's not necessarily that you have to like be celibate to those things if you don't want to unless that calls to you but more so that you have to have enough internal strength to not what does she say? Negotiate away your spirit. So like to not become addicted or I mean, another way that this has been pitched to me and I'm not exactly sure where it's, I've been intaking so much like books and information lately that it's all blurring into one, but that you don't worship the wrong things. Like you don't worship these power sources more than you worship your own value and like your own soul. Deep chat for us to start a vlog with, by the way. It goes into saying that internal power in some way requires giving up our relationship to the physical world. So in order to keep our internal states of power, we almost have to negotiate how much we interact with those external states or those external means of power. Does that make sense? Anyway, found that really interesting. I have been, I'd like some books, there's some books I give away to some of the Co's members, but some books like this one that I know I just, I enjoy so much that I wanna keep. Any book that just like really changes my life, I tend to highlight them and then I just keep these books and I'll sometimes bring all of the highlights and underlines into like a note, so. You might see there's a couple pages. I did some in blue, some in orange, and then just some underlined in pen. And I just like highlight the things that really stick out to me or like really wow me in terms of information. Oh my God, my voice, what just happened? <laughs> Got that Brooke Davis voice going on. Okay, so I'm gonna finish out my reading, continue drinking my coffee, and then catch in with you some other points throughout the day. Definitely a Gregory Allen Isakov kind of day. Also, how cute is this mug? 
I got it from Indigo. I just ordered a couple books, some of the Anna Green Gables books, and they had this mug on there. As Eva from the memberships would say, <laughs> my seasonal consumerism kicked in. I'm drinking some elderberry tea. I feel very witchy this morning. Really holding strong to that uh, wish to be more of a tea person. I'm rummaging a lot this morning. That's, it's not necessarily a feeling. It's more a state of mind. I feel like I'm, I'm rummaging. And so I'm taking a bit more time to go slow this morning, trying to honor that I, I got myself working up into a lot of thoughts this morning and so, yeah. Bike for a quick moment after this, or maybe just a quick 15 minute bike ride. Get moving, you know, get my energy, my blood pumping, and then move into my day. I have a bit of filming and such to do, and then I'm going to meet my sister for a walk in town. I feel like for the first time ever, I have an outside designation, designated spot, like an, uh, a place I have to go to, you know? Like I haven't gone to work in a long time. I've always worked in my home. I've always worked in my apartments, but because the internet doesn't work as well here, as much as I like stressed about it and as much as I harped on it in the beginning, and I still do, like there are times where I don't wanna have to drive into town to upload a video. Like I just wanna be able to hang here while it's uploading, but it'll take like three hours to upload here. And if I go to his house, it'll upload in six minutes. There's something about it that is definitely like, it's comforting because it when I am here, I'm in this very peaceful atmosphere where I'm less likely to go on and like use the internet. I definitely use it here. I do a lot of my like, research and a lot of my writing here. Wi-Fi internet work I do over at his office or our office, I guess. We have like a double desk, it's so cute. This weekend I'm actually having some visitors come up and it's my friend Maria and her friend are coming to visit Friday afternoon and then staying until Sunday morning. So I'm really excited about that. And that makes it so I pretty much have to have everything ready to go this afternoon. So as I stated, I'm already running behind. <sighs> I even need to take a big breath after speaking. Oh, that sun is beautiful though, watching the sunrise. But I'm still here with wounds on my feet. Where will you be? If I Quick stroll with the little guy. There's so many chipmunks around here. Bentley just, Bentley can go for hours. So this is the first tree in my yard to change color. I think it was also the first tree to bloom in the spring. So that makes sense. Hey, come on. Get back on the road. This way. Go. Into you, and so I've 
friend Let me tell you once again And you know that it's true Forget about seeing it Or hearing it In the end you must feel Forget about all you know You need to go It's okay to let go Just let it watched my front porch is done there's little pumpkins on there now I'll give you actually let me just show you I'll show you a little front tour porch front porch tour um, but there's actually gonna be a full fall house tour coming this week so hang tight for that if you want to see all the fall goodies but I ended up finding a wreath which you'll see tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog and then I added some extra little pumpkins but how cute is this door still needs some oil. Let's just sit here while we wait for Bentley. So my friend Maria came down to visit from Toronto finally, which we've been planning for so long. She is an earth sign, she's a Capricorn. So it was so funny, the one day we were like, okay, like what are we, what are we gonna do today? Like we have the afternoon wide open. And she brought a friend with her who was napping at the time and my boyfriend was gone. And Maria was like, I need to do something earthly. Like, can we garden? The gardening just kept on getting pushed this year. So I was like, yes, like let's totally do a garden. So I chose the yellow flowers to go in between. And then we planted some lavender as well as some Russian sage. And then I did my front porch and we got everything from a nursery. It's pretty close by. Uh, and now I feel like it's totally fall vibes in here, especially now. Like if I show you, look at the leaves, look at the leaves outside. They're so pretty. It definitely officially feels like fall now. And it was so nice to be with friends and hang out. I'll show you the books that I got from the little bookstore. Cause we went to this little fair in, it's this really small town that's not too far from where I am. And so they had this really cute small bookstore that was like family run, maybe not family run, I don't know. But the, I met the lady that ran the bookstore um, and it was a smaller one. So I think I'm gonna try and start making the trek to her now to get books just to help like smaller businesses. Anyway, I ended up picking up Circe and uh, I've been wanting to pick this book up for a really long time and she talked me into it, but it was Gone with the Wind and like, it's a thick book. This is gonna be a commitment, but I'm thinking of reading it maybe in the winter, if not closer to spring. And then yeah, we made sushi, which you guys saw too. She actually brought me all of the things I needed from Toronto to make sushi at home. That was like her housewarming gift to me. And it was so fun and it was just so nice to see her and catch up to, with her. And yeah, it was just like a fun weekend. I feel like my house is definitely much more fall vibes now, especially once you see tomorrow's vlog where we do all the inside stuff. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me for a full other day. I'm gonna try and call Bentley in now and do my live stream. So without further ado, I will see you guys tomorrow as we decorate the inside of my house. Bye guys. <laughs>